वी आर नॉट अफ्रेड टू डाई इफ वी आर ऑल इन इट टूगेदर बाय गॉर्डन कुक एंड एलन ईस्ट सीबीएसई क्लास इलेवन दिस इज द सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक हॉर्नबिल द पिक्चर यूज हियर इज अ रियल पिक्चर ऑफ कैप्टन गॉर्डन कुक एंड हिज फैमिली In this lesson I am going to discuss short answer type questions short answer type questions are to be written in about 40 words and they carry two marks the links to explanation of the chapter and long answer type questions can be found in the description box Gordon Cook was a sailor from Gloucestershire England This story is an excerpt from his voyage account Schooner to the Southern Oceans Gordon vowed to sail in his own ship and repeat Captain James Cook's final voyage 200 years later in 200 years later in 1976 This story is a first person account of the narrator it exhibits extraordinary and exemplary courage grit and skill by a family in the face of adversity it is an inspiring tale of human endurance selflessness and optimistic fervor the narrative describes how determination perseverance and strong will power raise our spirits and help us overcome all our fears and now for the questions what was gordon cook's dream what efforts did he make to fulfill it answer gordon cook's dream was to duplicate the round the world voyage like the famous captain james cook the narrator and his wife mary had spent all of their free time for the last 16 years perfecting their seafaring skills they also got a professional 23 meter and 30 ton wooden hulled boat made it had been tested for months in the roughest of the weathers question briefly describe the first leg which means the first phase of their journey answer the initial period of the 3 year journey from plymouth england to the west coast of africa that is cape town was quite pleasant they took two crewmen larry vigil and herb siegler from cape town they could help them tackle any sort of rough sea in the southern indian ocean they even celebrated christmas on the boat question What happened on their second day out of Cape Town? What worried the narrator and why? Answer. On their second day out of Cape Town, they began to face strong storms. Huge and mighty waves started rising in the ocean. Their size was alarming. They rose up to 15 meters high, which means as high as their main mast. The winds were screaming and they were sailing with a small jib. They tried to slow down the boat and conducted a trial life raft drill. They wore oil skins to save themselves from getting wet and attached life jackets. The narrator was worried and waited in apprehension of the approaching storm. Question: What sort of wave hit the ship? How did the narrator react? Answer: It was a mighty and huge wave. It appeared perfectly vertical. It was almost twice the height of the other waves. It had a very unpleasant breaking crest. The narrator had never seen such an enormous wave, so he was filled with horror. Question: How was the narrator affected by the attacks of the waves? Answer: When the water broke over the ship, the narrator's head hit the wheel and 
he was thrown out of the ship into the sea and started sinking under the waves he accepted his approaching death as he began losing consciousness then one of the waves threw the ship upright and he was able to reach the main boom subsequent waves tossed him around the deck like a rag doll his left ribs cracked his mouth was filled with blood and broken teeth question how did the narrator accept his approaching death answer after a huge and tremendous wave hit the deck of the boat throwing the narrator out into the sea he accepted his approaching death as he began losing consciousness he felt peaceful because he had tried his best to save the ship and hence nurtured no regrets also because he knew that his death was near and he accepted that truth question briefly describe susan's injuries and how she reacted to them or this question can also be worded in this manner i did not want to worry you when you were trying to save us all said sue what had happened to her answer sue had a bump on her head her head was swollen frighteningly her eyes had become black and she had a deep cut on her arm on being asked about her injuries she replied to her father that she did not want to bother him when he was trying to save them she is very mature during a difficult circumstance and allows her father to attend to the more serious issue that is of saving the boat question why do you think the narrator searched for an island so eagerly answer the wave that hit wave walker had caused extensive damage to it nearly all the boat's main frames had been smashed down to the keel a whole section of the starboard hull was being held up only by a few cupboard partitions wave walker could not hold together long enough for them to reach australia so he desperately searched for an island to repair the boat question the narrator says i told him with a conviction i did not feel what led him to believe so answer the narrator had lost his main compass he was using a spare one it had not been corrected for magnetic variation he had to make allowance for this as well as for the influence of the westerly currents though he checked and rechecked his calculations he was not sure he depended on luck as well question why do you think the narrator called isle amsterdam to be the most beautiful island in the world answer isle amsterdam was a very small and bleak island made of volcanic rock it had little vegetation and only 28 inhabitants the author called it to be the most beautiful island in the world because it had given them a ray of hope for survival it provided them safety from the huge waves of the sea as well as gave them an opportunity to anchor there and repair their damaged ship which could not otherwise have completed its journey question how did jonathan react to the desperate situation they found themselves in on 5th january answer the children were mature enough to perceive that their end might be near jonathan innocently asked his father whether they were all going to die on the narrator's reassurance he bravely remarked that he did not fear death as long as all of them were together his dad mom sue and himself the narrator could not find the proper words to respond however he felt enthused with a renewed vigor and inspired 
to fight the sea with everything he had and that was the end of this particular lesson but not the end of the question answer series do wait for the next that is part 2 where i will also cover the long answer type questions so if you learned from this video lesson do like share comment and subscribe to my channel do click the bell icon for the notifications and of course keep watching